It's about 45 minutes before the opening bell here on this Thursday, May 26, 2016. You will be optionmillionaires.com. S&P 500 futures up a little over a tenth of percent. Uh, again, look at this. We're up to the highs that we saw at the end of April. So despite the swings, the selling that we saw, and even last week hitting the low for the month, uh, the market is back to the levels that it pretty much started the month at. Pretty amazing. So this month, you could just take an eraser or just... That's one month you're not going to get back. Speaking of that, I was talking about it earlier this week. Monday's trading action. That was a six and a half trading hours that you were not going to get back. Look at this action. Uh, I think the market got a little pissed off. People were talking about it not moving anywhere. And overnight, while everyone was sleeping, decided to rocket to the upside. And look at this move we've had off the lows of last Thursday. Tremendous move up. We are now reaching that 2100 level that I continue to talk about uh, above it. Very bullish for this market because it's a level it has not been able to break and hold above. Uh, you can actually look at this level as being a point of resistance that has led to significant downside. So that's something you got to look for here for the SP 500 futures 2100. We are nearing that level. We break and hold above it. Uh, really bodes well for this market heading into the summer. Uh, as much as I hate to say it, I was looking for a move to the downside. And I actually, if you look from a longer term perspective here for the market, we've been coming down to the support line more and more frequently. So if we don't hold this 2100 level, the odds of a pullback to this level here at about the 1850 level S&P 500 futures, very, very likely. But again, this market continues to rally, looks poised to break that 2100 level in the midst of volatility, which has been melting lower. Look, look at the VIX here at trend line support. And if you look back to last summer, we got under 13, we're at 1391, down to the 12s. And it took us all the way to the, the start of August when China uh, was starting to crack before the VIX really started to take hold here. So this could, again, be another meltdown. And look, back in 2014, when did we hit our lows for the VIX? In the June and July months. So they say sell in May. Uh, the thing that's really been selling off after May, the last couple of years, has been the VIX, which implies a pretty uh, boring market that's just going to grind higher. And that would kind of suck. But if you look the last one and a half years after we hit our record highs, it's just been a consolidation fest. Uh, you look at the U.S. dollar index rebounding. We were back in this flagging pattern long term. Looks like it's going to break out. This does not bode well uh, for the stock market, but this is down the road. If the U.S. dollar index does break back into triple digits, like I think it will, uh, we're going to see corporate earnings affected. But we'll get into that when when that move starts to happen. The U.S. dollar is sold off significantly from its highs of last year. Let's look at some charts here. Uh, look at Movado this morning uh, came out with. Numbers that the market's not going to like. Uh, you can see this trend line support here, 2250. Looks like it's going to break down. So this is going to be a great longer term put trade to about the 1750, $15 level. Heading into August, I'll uh, pull up the SP 500 chart. Again, look at this. We're up at the top side here uh, of long term resistance or break above that. That's going to launch SP 500 to new all time record highs. You can look at 220, 225 for the SPY heading into year end. Talk about Facebook here. This long-term trend line has acted as support. Uh, you can see we're kind of running out of gas here. And if uh, you look, the last time we ran out of gas, we came down to hit the support line. So if you look at Facebook, uh, one thing possibly that's going to pull back in this market or at least stagnate to meet up with this trend line would be Facebook, a move down to 110, 107.50 heading into the summer. Something that's not falling, a uh, part of the fang. Netflix, look at this hit support, jboptionmillionaires.com, $98 calls for 30 cents. This morning, Netflix is over 104. <laughs> Incredible move for Netflix, actually. 104.46, it's moving right now. Uh, heavy volume pre market. Uh, Apple, also off support. I don't like this stock longer term, but you got to respect support. It's a support line I've had really since this swoon started. And you can see the last time it hit support, nice move up to 110. This time, I'd say the, the rubber is going to meet the road at about 105, 107.50 for Apple. And actually, if you look shorter term, we have the gap down from its earnings report. That would be a good price point here at about 105. Recover that, get over 105, 1750, maybe 110 before we resume our decline for the Apple. Look at the IWM breaking out here. And I talked about these two lines coming together. Look at that launch point. Once we broke above that, it's been a significant move up for IWM. Something I did not think was going to happen. If you look, the 120 level it comes into focus. We have broken a long-term downtrend for IWM. So this is uh, somewhat bullish here for not only the small caps, but for the rest of the stock market. Whereas you have the QQQ still trying to break that 
looming head and shoulders pattern. We get above 110, which we <laughs> might as might happen today. Uh, that's going to be pretty bullish for the NASDAQ. And let's pull up one more chart here. The VXX, which broke to new all-time record lows. I like, like bringing this chart up just to put it into perspective how far it has fallen and just what a broken instrument it is. Great for short-term intraday action. And I've talked about this in the past. When you start to see the VXX falling and the market's down, you know the market's going to come back up like Hulk Hogan. So if you look here, 20-year chart, 7,500 to 14. Uh, shorter term, you can see it's just been absolutely clobbered after hitting its highs uh, back at the lows in February. Yeah, and I talked about this at the lows in February. The VIX, we'll just bring up one last chart. That 30 level has been acting as resistance in the past. Back in February, got up to 30, rejected. And if you look again, we are set, ready to break this trend line support here and head into the 12s for the VIX. Certainly uh, bullish for the market. But again, 2100, I think, is the more key level here. Heading into the summer, we break above 2100. S&P 500 futures breaks this trend line really sets the market up for a nice flag move to the upside. UMPBOptionMillionaires.com. I'll see you in the chat room. Dollar Tree had earnings this morning. Uh, Dollar General had earnings this morning. Costco had earnings last night. Look at Dollar Tree. Uh, it's up over $6. Dollar General, I believe, is also up. Last I checked, look at that. Dollar General up $3. Costco was up a couple dollars here after reporting earnings. If your central banker hasn't told you yet, everything is awesome. Everything is awesome. Corporate debt buying spree from the ECB getting launched soon. We have interest rate supposed hikes coming. Uh, just a great time to be alive. So much debt out there. And what's great about it this time around, it doesn't have to be paid back. Really good news here for the market. All right, UPBOptionMillionaires.com. We'll see you in the chat room, everybody. Hey, if you're taking the week off early, for the Memorial Day weekend, be safe out there. Have a good time, and I'll see you in the chat room. Take care.